season finale is finally here, let's waste no time and get to the review. So, as a season finale, this episode wraps up all of the plot points that have been introduced this season, such as the season long arc of the box, the Pony of Shadows, and all the other great things. So let's dive straight in. The episode begins with Twilight arriving in the Crystal Empire on some royal business, and by business I mean smiling and waving. I really relate to Twilight here, as we all want to feel as though our job means something, like we have a role in our peer group. Soon after though, Princess Celestia has a vision of the future, and this vision is of T-Rex? You mean G1 villain T-Rex? You mean T-Rex that had the rainbow of darkness that turned ponies into dragons? Wow. So T-Rex has apparently escaped from Tartarus, who escaped during the episode It's About Time when Cerberus left the gates of Tartarus. That's what I loved about this season, it's all been about CONTINUITY! Everywhere you look, it's continuity. Even ranging so far back as season 1 or 2. I love it. So, Twilight has been called to Canterlot to get some exposition on T-Rex backstory. And that includes his brother, Scorpan, who was in the same spot as Discord is in now. You know, with friendship. So, T-Rex is on a rampage around Equestria, growing in power as he steals the magic from the inhabitants of Equestria. I don't remember G1, so I'm not sure if that's what he actually did. Hold on, I'll go look. Hmm. Twilight goes to the castle with the two sisters who joined by the main six, and on her way to the castle, they run into our favourite Draconicus. There are so many references in this scene that if I pointed them all out, I would be here forever. So let me just skip this scene and say that it was absolutely hilarious. As always, you know Discord. Also, he sets Twilight on her way to finding the keys, which will prove important later on. So, later on, Discord runs into t rex and- Oh, come on! They made Discord turn to the dark side? I had faith in Discord all this time, but I guess... <sighs> you know, I thought Discord would be more intelligent than to be fooled by a villain like t rex so I guess Twilight figures that the objects the five found throughout the season were the key to finding the keys. But Twilight doesn't have her key yet, further portraying her insecurities as a princess. So she gets called to Canterlot and gets given the magic of all three of the Alicorn princesses. Twilight, enter God mode. Your Twilight evolved into God Twilight. She is given this magic from the princesses to keep it safe from T-Rex so it doesn't fall into his hands. Twilight goes home and it's clear she's having trouble controlling it. I find it awesome to see Twilight raising the sun too. Whoever thought that we'd see that? So anyway, things happen and Discord betrays the trust of Fluttershy. Just like I thought he would. Wait, I knew a T-Rex would do this. So that means Discord isn't evil after all. Yay! Then, there's an epic fight between Twilight and T-Rex, during which he blows up the library, causing Twilight to go rage laser mode. Which is fucking awesome, to be quite honest. Then, Twilight has to make a tough decision. She has to choose between giving up the magic given to her by the princesses in exchange for her friends, causing Twilight to get the rainbow connection. She accepts giving T-Rex the magic causing T-Rex to get even bigger than he was before. Hope seems completely lost until Discord gives Twilight the Triangle Amulet, which was given to him by T-Rex earlier in the episode. So basically, he signed his own death warrant. And this amulet turns out to be your key. Yes! And now, rainbows! The elements activate and give the main six the power to defeat T-Rex and send him back to Tartarus, hopefully forever. The magic of friendship radiates across all of Equestria, giving every pony back their magic. And the conclusion to this episode is so inspiring, especially the song. So what do I think of this episode as a whole? I thought the reintroduction of a G1 villain was really interesting, and I just want to say to my friend Jonathan, I fucking called it. So, as season 4 wraps up, so must this review. I'm going to give this episode a 10 out of 10. Entertaining and engaging from start to finish. I could not have asked for a better season finale. Join me next week, folks, as I look back upon the season and give my thoughts. So, I'm the Ponyville Critic. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.